Hello everyone, my name is Jay, and today we're back in another episode of the series with Create. Now in the last episode, now I know what you're wondering. Jay, you weren't in a bedroom last time we saw this episode. What happened? Where did you go? How, what? Well, I'm here to explain all of it to you. My world got corrupted for a little bit. It kept showing up an invalid player data error for about a week, and I... I didn't edit at all for that week, and I was just really bummed out about it, and in the end, I decided to delete the footage. And lo and behold, about a day after I deleted, I fixed the issue, and I'm back in Create, and everything, nothing has not saved. I have everything exactly how I left it. So we're going to pretend that you all watched a really good, really cool video last time that I was supposed to edit one. And it, that's the episode two. This is episode two, but this was supposed to be the third episode. I do apologize. I. You know, I, I would have, I don't know, I'm sorry guys, just bear with me. So yeah, this is, this was technically supposed to be episode 3, it's episode 2 now. Congratulations, you get not that old. To be fair, the other one wasn't very fun. And honestly, I'm kind of glad that uh, it got lost, because now I get to do the fun stuff, getting started with the great one. I have rigged up some water wheels here to generate some power, so that when... I have the resources, and I actually think I do, but so that in a little bit, we can get started on getting some power down here so we can start pressing things and doing all sorts of cool bits and bobs. Uh, I have the space for an enchantment table. I want to put my portal maybe back here. I'm not sure yet, but those are all things we have to do after we get started with the great one. So let me grab some resources, and we'll get right to it. After gathering all my supplies, I decided that first I would be speeding up the contraption by using a 1 to 2 ratio of spin to basically just make it go faster. I then put down some of these vertical gearboxes so that I could connect my mechanical press directly to it and then, you know, begin pressing materials. I started with this gold, which I just threw on there, and then after successfully pressing it, I decided to use it to craft myself a wrench as that was going to be more useful than the goggles, which I made after pressing another piece of gold. After pressing that piece of gold, I put some iron and made myself a new crafting table and started to work on our next contraption, which was going to be some mechanical harvesters so that I could automate the production of a wheat. In order to power this farm, I used a windmill bearing, as that is the most effective way for a radio farm to be made in the crate mod. In order to make it, though, I had to head out on my boat to these little jungle areas in search of sheep, which I eventually found after a few minutes of searching. I sheared them for their wool and then decided to head back home so that I could get back to work. Once I got home, I punched all this wheat out, seeing as I was going to make a farm for it. I put some iron to press so that I could make these portable storage interfaces and the chutes that I was going to need for it anyway. Then looked up uh, what I would need to create a grindstone since I was going to be using it to turn my wheat into wheat flour and then that into dough by washing it before eventually smelting it or, well, cooking it into bread. Before that, though, I decided that it would be best if I grabbed some obsidian to clear up the diamonds that I just had in my inventory. Uh, and I placed it down in this little room that I made, and then I got to work on the sails again. I made eight sails and then added some wool to them for aesthetic purposes, and I decided to make another mechanical harvester, as I figured bigger is always better. Now I'm going to need... that I can make two of these. I also ended up needing to craft myself a hopper, which I did, and then I started clearing out some land so that I could make myself my farm. I don't remember if I have it there or in the corner. I think it's in the corner, more or less. Yeah, I think that... Oh, yeah, because uh, the machine won't harvest those anyway. Okay, I now have to go make myself another hoe. Wait, hold on. Am I counting? One, two, three, four, five. And then there. I think that's right. One, two, three, four, five. Yeah. Struggled a little bit, but I got there. Now comes the fun part. Assembling. 
we're going to start off by putting our output chest with a hopper feeding into it, which is going to drain from this portable storage interface. We're going to put our windmill bearing down here and slam up the sides. You're going to also want to have some blocks in the back so that you can place these mechanical harvesters. These sails are what's going to spin our whole farm around. And you're going to want to remember to, you know, put a chest so that all of your seeds uh, get collected along with a portable storage interface. Make sure you remove all of the dirt and retail the land. And then you just kind of give it a right click and it'll spin. After that, you just kind of wait for it. And when it comes into contact here, they have to be minimum one block apart. They will transfer items from one uh, contraption to the other. And with that done, I decided that the next thing I was going to do was going to power this grindstone that I had made earlier so that we can start uh, making bread more efficiently. Since it takes one water bucket to wash a wheat flour into dough, I decided to make an infinite water source back here so that I wouldn't have to keep running back up to get it. So basically, this would give me four pieces of bread. Uh, but I can actually get 14 out of it. So that'll be that. Now... Oh, it's one water bucket per one. Okay, so you're moving. Can I not just, like, make a hole in the ground and throw all my flour? Yes. Oh, one at a time it is. Okay. I will set up proper dough later. Uh, and this. But for now. Campfire. Oh, it doesn't give it back. That. Oh. Maybe it should. Oh, and I got more flour out of it. Anyway. It's gonna be my life for the next little while. Okay, I can only cook four at a time on this one campfire. But. Uh, when I set up a better area, I will be able to mass produce bread. With the food problem solved for now, I decided to build this little pen to hold some animals in. Uh, first, I grabbed the sheep, and while it's not much, it's definitely a start, and I would definitely be needing to grab more later. Bread. Hey, we put like 16 in there, we got 27 wheat flour. Oh, I need some. I can. But that reminds me, I, uh, I killed some wandering villagers, and one of my mods has loot bag so you right click it and you get some stuff sword it does serious damage this hammer oh hammer look oh, i feel powerful dude hammer does area does oh, throws enemies around and deal durability damage 16 attack compared to my that's so much better this is also better than my oh well that's a waste of diamonds then Following that disappointing reveal that I had wasted some diamonds, I started running in this direction where I eventually spotted some cows and decided that I would be bringing all of these back to the little enclosure I had made earlier as that made the most sense. I had a bit of trouble kind of wrangling them all in here, but in the end, I managed to get them all in. I made sure to breed them too so I wouldn't you know, be running out of cows at any point. With that done, I decided to get to work making myself some bread before deciding that I didn't really want to do this anymore. So I started planning out for my next couple builds and realized I was going to be needing a bit of quartz. So I geared up as best I could and prepared myself to go into the nether. Hopefully I don't die to anything. That would be really bad. In the business, we call this foreshadowing. After crossing, I covered up my portal with cobblestone and made a little waypoint of my portal so that I wouldn't get lost while I was mining up all the quartz that I was going to be needing for the next couple builds. I need to grab uh, a blaze, and once I have the resources, I can grab on it. Grab anything. Uh, in order to ooh, okay, speak of the devil. Uh, hello. All right, that's really that's super handy, actually. Oh my god, I didn't think it'd come across. Especially not, and it's in. Asphalt area, that's not bad. How I am gonna get over there, I 
do not. Hello, Piglin. Please don't find me. My hat. I think I brought a better hat. Yes. Now. You know, if I was cool, I'd know how to feed fish, but I'm very not cool like that. I want to learn how to speak. I'll be cool like that. Oh, hey, a blaze spawn. Yeah. Please go away. Oh, I'm going to die. I'm going to die. I'm going to die. No! I, that's the one thing I didn't want to have happen. Oh. Okay, well. Good news. I know where it is. So I can just head to my portal and then... Go, I just run back to my latest death. Please keep going up so that That's the sound. No. What about that? Make it thicker. All my stuff in here. Yes, right? All my stuff? Everything? Oh, no, 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 no. What are you doing? What are you Okay. Where's my bread? My bread is the one thing that I don't have right now. Hi, Editor J here. Now, if you're looking at this wondering, what do you mean you have your bread right on you? I'm wondering the same thing. I didn't notice that I had my bread in the second slot of my hotbar because I'm an idiot and because I was panicking, but also just because I'm an idiot. So the reason that this video is going the way it's going is because I am an idiot. And I hope you'll forgive me for that. Oh my god. What's going on right now? One. Are you serious? The, the one thing I didn't get is my bread. Like that really fast. Where's my bread? No bread? Oh. You thought it was gonna be an outro, but it was I, Editor J, and I'm here to let y'all know that I'm gonna be live on Twitch about an hour after this video releases. That's gonna be around 1 p.m. Central Standard Time. I hope to see y'all there, and thank y'all so much for watching the video.